Texas is already in the process of extending Mopac and you can see that over here just to my left. They've already cut through some of the landscape in the middle area, which is why you see the piles of mulch between the north and southbound lanes of Mopac. Right now, commuters are having to navigate through several traffic lights to get to and from their destination. And once the $53 million project is complete, it will allow drivers to go under the overpasses and bypass those lights. The project was delayed at first by a federal lawsuit, but it's now scheduled to open in 2021. Part of that project will include a new type of intersection called a diverging diamond intersection. Similar ones have been built in Round Rock and San Marcos. A diverging diamond intersection actually allows more traffic to pass through that intersection safer. It's going to take the traffic off of the local streets and especially once they finish also 45 that will tie in. That's going to channel all the traffic onto Mopac that's now using this as a, uh, as a you know, access to Buda and areas like that right now. And hopefully this new extension will make Mopac a little less miserable. You can see traffic just piled up along the northbound lanes. Bradford does mention SH45 because the new Mopac extension will connect to it. And that's expected to be finished by next year.